now please join the class of 2014 in reciting the flag salute, followed by the singing of the national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In keeping with the dignity of this commencement exercise, we, the eighth grade, class of 2014, request that all cell phones be turned off. The use of air horns and any other disturbing noise makers is strictly prohibited. Should any of these devices be employed during this exercise, those parties will be removed from our ceremony immediately. Dr. Barkatapane, Mr. Vandenberg, members of the Board of Education, distinguished guests, faculty, families, and friends, good evening. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate the fulfillment of a goal we have been striving for ever since we first entered Washington Park School. The diplomas will be awarded tonight represent our success in so many different ways. With focus, self-discipline, and hard work, we have done very well academically. Our participation in after-school activities has encouraged us to develop our talents and discover new interests we never knew we had. And while we interacted with each other socially, we have not only made friends, but we have learned tolerance and respect for one another. The result, our self-confidence has soared and we have reached a new level of maturity that will serve us well as we move on to high school. We are truly proud of all these accomplishments and we hope you are proud of us too. Tonight marks the end of one journey and the beginning of the next. We'll take with us amazing memories of the fun we have had and all the friends we have known here. And even though we are filled with mixed emotions at the thought of leaving, I can assure you we are incredibly happy and excited about the future and all its possibilities. Yes, we are ready. In fact, we just can't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the class of 2014, it is my honor to welcome you to our graduation ceremony. Welcome to the graduation of Washington Park School. Commencement exercise is 2014, honoring the class of 2014. I'm, I'm proud to introduce the following. Please hold your applause to the end. We have Councilman Lou D'Angelo representing Mayor John Coro. We have Police Chief Robert Coyle. Members of the Total Board of Education, Anthony Zarek, President, Michelle Rocco, Vice President, Jennifer DeSigli, Thomas Ferraro, Marcello Guarnieri, Beatrice Kerwin, Bruce Matano, Sanders Reynoso, Keith Schaefer, and Val D'Ambrosio, who left us this past fall, left the board. <laughs> Dr. Gigano, Superintendent of Schools at Passaic Valley High School. John Vandenberg, Principal of Washington Park School, 
Patricia Capitelli, principal of Memorial School, Barbara Ciccelli, supervisor of Pupil Personnel Services, Joseph Compell, vice principal, Nancy Emmerich, director of planning, research, and evaluation, Colin Monahan, business administrator, board secretary, Dominic Piccarelli, assistant business administrator. Our eighth grade teachers, Mrs. Hackbarth, Mrs. Johnson, Mrs. Perenio, Ms. Mostello, Mr. Nelson, and Ms. Skirmerhorn. At the end of this school year, the following staff members will be retiring. Ms. McGilligott, Ms. Pache, and after 39 years in our district, an essential part of our administrative team, Mr. John Vandenberg. Would all total of professional staff please stand and be recognized. To the graduating class of 2014, think different. Think different became the new axiom from Apple. The founder of the company, Steve Jobs, was not an engineer or a developer of electronic components that created the first Apple computers. What he was, was a man who challenged others to push the limits of capability. And to those on his A-team who said it would be difficult or not possible because of his insistence, they rose to the challenge and exceeded those limits of capability. When Jobs recruited talent to come to work for Apple, he challenged them, do you want to change the world? Apple is about people who think outside the box. Single-handedly, Steve Jobs and Apple succeeded in changing the world. First they did it with using computers, then the iPhone, then the iPad, and then the process changed the entire music industry digital animation in movies, online apps, and e-books. Apple's ad campaign, written in part by Steve Jobs several years ago, stated, here's to all of those who push humanity forward. And while some may see them as crazy ones, we see them as genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. To the class of 2014, take up the challenge and change our world. Thank you. Okay, I'd like to uh, present the Americanism Award. I'm proud to announce from American Legion Post 227 in Totowa, Commander Bob Iamelli and Jim Lyons. Okay, this award is issued to two students who have been selected by their peers. The criteria for selection is based on personal traits, honor, patriotism, courage, service, and scholarship. The recipients of this award have been, have been kept secret until this evening. The second place award goes to Anthony Generelli. First place goes to Jenna Paraselli. Next, we have the presentation of the Mayor and Council Essay Awards. John Coral was not able to be here tonight. It's the first one he's missed in 20 years. And in his place is Councilman Lou D'Angelo, who at one point was a previous Total Board of Education board member. Lou. First of all, on behalf of Mayor and Council, I'd like to congratulate all the graduates. Uh, it was not too long ago when I sat out here myself and uh, was able to give both my boys their uh, certificate. So on behalf of Mayor and Council, wish you success and keep Toto in your hearts wherever you go. Here we go. I don't have my glasses, so bear with me. Can you try yours? First and second place students were chosen by a committee of teachers other than eighth grade teachers. All essays read by the committee were anonymous. 
The theme of the essay is Wherever You Remember. The second place awards goes to Jarifa Akbari. First place award goes to Jenna Pericelli. Whenever you remember, every person is like a puzzle. Our special memories make up our pieces. They're what shape us into the people we are or the pictures we represent. As we acquire these memories, our puzzles only become more complete. Personally, I've found many of my pieces throughout my experiences here. Washington Park has given me so many memories to reminisce when I'm feeling upset or lost. These memories may not hold any real value, they hold a strong and substantial emotional value that is close to my heart. When I look back on the times I've had here, I will smile. How could I forget the rush of nervous joy that coursed through my veins the first time I stepped on stage? How could I allow the butterflies that fluttered in my stomach on the first day of kindergarten to just fly away? I could never let go of these special moments I've had walking through the halls of Washington Park. As I face challenges throughout my life, I will hold on to these things forever. It is unrealistic to say that there have only been positive experiences in our lives. Mostly everyone must travel down the road alone at one point or another. Sometimes we may fall or break down. However, I've come to learn something. The friends and teachers we've had here were always by our side to pick us up and help us to see the brightest star when all else was faded to darkness. Every tough experience will only teach a valuable lesson, something to guide us on the long journey that's ahead. The most valuable lesson I've learned is simple. If you allow it to happen, even a negative experience can result in a positive memory in the long run. Whenever I remember, a small tear may even roll down my cheek. I've been through so much with my classmates. We were always there for each other, to guide each other, and even motivate each other. Our classmates have helped to light the determination within all of us, to spark the burning flames of hope, courage, and the will to succeed. This has shown us all that we are unstoppable. Why is this a sad thing? Personally, I know I must face the harsh reality of the upcoming fork in the path. Thus far, we've traveled together for nearly every step of the way, even taking new faces with us as we continue down the path. Now, however, it's time for us to split up. We're all going to go our separate ways and move forward. I guess I will have to stand beside the realism and face the music. We're all going to miss each other, but I know that whenever we remember, all of my classmates will be there beside me. In life, many people are going to try to tear us down, but they will all lack something that we possess. The bond that this class of 2014 shares is like no other. We must stand tall because we are strong. Whenever we smile, we will succeed. Regardless of how hard they try, they cannot break us. We owe this sense of self-respect and courage to the comforting support and advice from our other fellow classmates around us. Can't you see? This is a priceless feeling that takes many others a whole lifetime to find. My class has given me so much helpful advice and irreplaceable moments of friendship and wisdom, so now it's time for me to do the same. I like to view life as if it's a book. Our experiences and memories here are only the first few pages in our novel of life. Negative people around us may attempt to edit our story or tear out our pages, but we won't let them. We can't let them. High school is the next blank page, and we are the authors of our own futures. The rest of our story is unwritten, but we can always look back upon the moments we shared here. I hope that you will take these memories with you for life, as I will. I can guarantee that they will aid you in the long adventure of life that is soon to come. These moments will help you to remember that you can always touch the sky. We are strong, we are brilliant, but most of all, we are the class of 2014. Together, we'll stand forever.
On behalf of the Total Board of Education, administration, and staff, we'd like to present this plaque to Lou D'Angelo and the Mayor and Council uh, in the name of Janet Pericelli and Zarifa Akbari for winning the essay contest for the 2014 school year. Thank you very much. <laughs>